Welcome to Radiation Safety, provided by Modern Nuclear. We have been a provider of mobile nuclear imaging for the Southern California region since 1988, mobile cardiac spect since 1992, mobile cardiac rubidium PET since 2009. Recently, we upgraded our imaging capabilities to PET CT using rubidium to provide greater diagnostic capabilities to physicians and their patients. Nuclear medicine is a highly regulated modality that has extensive oversight and required compliance with federal and state laws. This is why we are here today. It is a state requirement that we at Modern Nuclear inform and educate as many people as possible that may have some exposure to radiation. So what is radiation? Radiation is energy that gives off from a source and travels through space and may be able to penetrate various materials. Atoms with unstable nuclei are said to be radioactive. In order to reach stability, these atoms give off or emit the excess energy or mass. Ionizing radiation is produced by unstable atoms. Unstable atoms differ from stable atoms because unstable atoms have an excess of energy, mass, or both. For the purpose of this video, we are only going to mention that there are three different types of ionizing radiation, alpha, beta, and gamma. How we measure radiation. We measure radiation through REM. REM is a unit of radiation dosage, such as from x-rays, applied to humans. REM is defined as the dosage in rads that will cause the same amount of biological injury as one rad of x-rays or gamma rays. One REM equals 1000 millirem. Annual dose limits. The whole body annual dose limit is 5000 millirem per year. For extremities, it's 50,000 millirem per year. Pregnant technologists are allowed 500 millirem for the gestational period. These levels are considered safe annual doses for radiation workers. The majority of nuclear techs receive around 200 millirem per year as recorded by dosimeter badge. Although this slide is well known between radiation technologists, it is meant to be a comparison between what the annual dose limits are and what the average person will be exposed to. We do get radiation through natural sources, otherwise known as background radiation, from the sun, air, elevation, flying. The average American receives around 360 millirem per year from these sources alone. Employees conducting treadmill stress tests using radioactive isotopes in a large hospital and large patient volume are exposed to less than 75 millirem per year. Those in casual contact receive a fraction of the annual dose limit. Here is a graph to represent annual dose limits compared to background radiation and nuclear tech exposure. To help protect us from the different types of ionizing radiation, we use the ALARA acronym, which stands for as low as reasonably achievable. This means making every reasonable effort to maintain exposures to radiation as far below the dose limits as is practical. We can achieve this through three different means of control, time, distance, and shielding. Time. The less time spent near the source means less radiation received. Distance. The greater the distance from the source means the less radiation received. Shielding. Proper shielding from the source means less radiation received. Another portion of the Alara concept is the use of wipes and surveys. The highly trained staff at Modern Nuclear will conduct daily wipes and surveys to monitor radiation levels in each of the rooms used to determine if there is any unnecessary radiation. We consider a spill to be any amount of radioactive material that makes contact with any other material or object that was not meant to be. Containment is containing the radioactive material. Modern nuclear technologists are highly trained in radioactive spill containment in accordance with the Alara concept and reducing the risk of radiation exposure and containment. PPE is another important portion of the Alara concept and to be utilized at all times. For SPECT Imaging All radiation will come from the liquid injection. The cameras do not produce radiation. The patient will give off radiation for 48 to 60 hours after the last injection. For PET CT Imaging The staff will receive little to no exposure of radioactivity from PET CT. All radioactive material given to the patient is done so remotely. The staff is behind lead shielding. The radioactive material given to the patient during imaging will be completely gone from the patient before they leave the PET CT trailer. Patients receive one tenth of the radioactive exposure when compared to SPECT. What if your patients are concerned? 
Nuclear medicine has been proven to be very safe and effective for patients that have been determined by their physician as needing the image. The exposure from radiation is in liquid form, only being injected through the veins. No other source is producing radioactivity, such as the cameras that we use to image. Although rare, emergencies do happen. All excretions are still radioactive, however, the amount of radioactivity is very small. Bloodborne pathogens are considered a greater risk to personnel than radioactivity. Do not delay life-saving measures. If you happen to touch a patient where excretions possibly contain radioactivity, avoid touching other objects to prevent contamination. The use of PPE should provide the protection needed for radioactive containment with excretions. If there is an emergency, the nuclear medicine technologist will collect all contaminated items after the incident to prevent further contamination. If possible, remain in the room until cleared by the technologist. The technologist will be responsible for any and all radioactive spill cleanup. The Radiation Safety Officer, or RSO, is responsible for maintaining the radiation safety program and administering the policies. The RSO is responsible for assuring that use of ionizing radiation meets all applicable government regulations and is responsible for the safety of all involved. The RSO is directly responsible for reviewing and evaluating projects, providing any necessary dissymmetry, providing training materials, and performing radiation surveys. Modern Nuclear's Radiation Safety Officer is Patrick J. Laverty. Contact is 562-305-7855. Office contact is 562-905-2244. Documents on Mobile Pet CT Radioactive Material License Specific Radiation Safety Instructions Emergency and Operating Procedures Daily Logbook to include patient data, referring physician, surveys, and isotope information Dose Calibrator Records Documents located at Modern Nuclear's Office Radiation Safety Meeting Records Continuing Education Records Title 17 Policies and Procedures Manual Any other miscellaneous records Thank you for watching Radiation Safety, provided by Modern Nuclear.